Alright, I don't have much time to film this. I have like half hour. Let's get right into it. What's up everyone? So welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over the seven tips that every photographer should know. So the first one is underexposure shots. If you overexpose, the highlights are going to get blown out and it's just going to blow out all the other colors and stuff that I could bring back to life in post. So uh, here's an example of what I did with one of my photos. I underexposed it way too much and this is not what you want to do, but I was able to bring it back. It still looks a tiny bit bad, but I'm happy on how I came out. I was able to bring back most of the detail. There's still some stuff where you could tell that I was very underexposed and it's not the best photo, but I think I did a pretty good job with uh, bringing it back to life. All right, so tip number two is shoot in raw because one, it brings out a lot of more information in the photo and doesn't compress the photo as JPEG does. So what I want you guys to do right now is go into your camera settings, go into the photo section and then change from JPEG to raw because that's gonna help out your photos a lot. Like it's insane how much it helps out. I didn't think it would do a whole lot, but after uh, seeing what people shoot with JPEG and all that and trying to edit photos to JPEG, it's insane. I've had people send me photos uh, to edit for them and they were JPEGs. I wasn't able to do a whole lot compared to what I could do if they were raw, but I was able to make the best of it and try to make them happy with the photos that they sent me. It's just hard when it's JPEG, so always shoot raw and you'll see your photos take a turn. It's insane. Tip number three is always bring a tripod with you because you never know when you're going to need one. I got a Dolica compact one because I use a Herschel backpack when I'm just around here and then uh, it just fits my backpack super easy because it flips out and all that stuff and gets like 60 inches high I believe and it's a great tripod especially if you're looking like on the cheaper end for a tripod to just like carry around and just use when you're out and about and not carry like a like a very nice one with you. It's always good to have a little nice, little cheaper side one. This one I believe was 40 or $60, or something like that, nothing too expensive. Um, but yeah, there's obviously cheaper tripods and more expensive tripods, but I think this one is a great starter one. And I still use it to this day because it just fits and so compact and it's nice. I love it. It's one of my favorite tripods I've had. So uh, I'll put the link in the description for this. Uh, I'll have to figure out what the name is, but I think it's just Dolka compact tripod or something like that. If you search that, it will come up. So yeah, tripods are a must have to keep in your camera bag and with you at all times because you just never know when you're gonna need it. So tip number four is shoot in continuous mode or burst mode, whatever your camera has. Um, because if you shoot single, it's just gonna shoot that single one and then you can miss a shot that's gonna be better than that, than that shot you got. So if you shoot in burst or continuous, you're gonna be able to capture that moment quicker and it's gonna be a whole bunch of like, it's gonna be a lot of photos in one sequence instead of just one and then wait a little bit and then take another one and all that. So shoot in burst mode and see what happens and you're gonna you're gonna be really surprised on what type of shots you get compared to the ones like before. So tip number five is keep your camera on while you're going everywhere. Like say you're hiking and stuff, just keep it on. If you turn it on and off multiple times when you go and take a photo, one, you could either miss that moment, say you're shooting wildlife and you gotta shoot that animal like quick and you have to turn your camera on. By that time, the animal could be faced away or just even be gone. Plus it drains your battery a lot more if you keep your camera off and turn it back on when you're about to shoot because it takes more power to turn it on and off compared to just leaving it on. And yeah, so keep your camera on if you're in a spot and just need to continue shooting. So tip number six is plan your shots. Check the weather, see how it's gonna be. See if it's gonna be cloudy, foggy, sunny, or just even like pouring down rain, just know what the weather's gonna be like and think of ideas for that type of situation and see if you can come up with something insane, like be more creative and all that and just plan your shots. That's basically it for number six. And also if you're shooting like in a high traffic area, just be aware of the cars and just like plan the best time to go and all that. So for tip number seven, the final tip is just take your time shooting. It's pretty ideal to just go out and take your time because if you rush it, you're gonna get photos that you thought you liked, but at the end, you're not gonna like it, and you can't wish, and you're gonna wish you spent more time there. So tip number seven, just take your time shooting. I know a lot of people like to go to a spot and sometimes rush it, and that's not what you wanna do because the lighting could change and make the spot even better than what it is at that point. And it's always nice to just sit back and relax and just enjoy the moment as well in that time where you're waiting for the lighting to change and all that. And also just, just wait for something to happen, you never know what's gonna happen, so just sit there and wait. That's basically it for number seven, just take your time. That was a lot quicker than I thought. I thought it was gonna run out of time, but I saw like 
15, 20 minutes to just kick back, sweet. Anyways, um, yeah, that's it for this video, guys. If you guys did like it, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and let me know the tips that you guys have and what's helped you, and uh, let me know what you think of the tips I gave. And also subscribe if you guys are new, and if you guys are interested in any of my photo work and anything like that, check the description below. I got my Instagram, Twitter, and all my social media down there, along with my website. If you guys wanna check that out, check out some presets I use and my prints as well. And again, this tripod is in the description if you guys are interested in it. I don't know if this version is discontinued or not. I'll have to look, but either way, it's gonna be in the description if you guys wanna check it out. I'll see you guys in the next video.